Hey, YouTube is Floyd Fan since 2000 with my year end video. This is my last day as 22. And I just want to embark on what I did at 22, the life lessons I learned, and basically just share all the things that I got to experience and all the things I want to experience in the next year. So, um, start off turning 22, um, or being 22 really um helped me expand my um college years working towards my degree in creative writing i started at 21 and i'm almost done you know at the age of 22 and i'm just at the age of yeah turning 22 getting ready to turn 23 i'm just so happy that i'm almost done and it just takes all my time which is why i really don't even have time to record youtube videos anymore which is why you don't see me record a lot of videos because i don't really have time and i'm you know always working i'm working now on my final but um i think at the age of 22 to just be almost done with my degree is just such a great accomplishment um also, um, getting to travel more, definitely I got to go to Chicago this year, which was great, you know, um, great to be able to go there. My aunt graduated from Loyola, um, college, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and she has a law degree, so she's been really inspiring me to continue with my education, and, you know, just to see her, you know, in Chicago, walk across the state and graduate was just everything um you know also got to shop in chicago and go downtown and it was really fun you know i definitely want to travel more you know at least twice a year you know but once a year this year so that was really good but next year i definitely want to plan to travel at least twice a year you know maybe more we'll see how that goes um another thing i got to do was i went to go see the 50 shades of gray movie that was a big stepping stone for me um being a writer, I read the book, and while it wasn't the best written book, I still rather enjoyed it, and the movie was pretty good, too, so, you know, that definitely was, was you know, a great accomplishment. Um, also, a day to 22, I um, was able to uh, really have a grasp of understanding of my responsibilities and know that I'm not, you know... 21 22 turning 23 you're supposed to be more responsible i definitely get that especially with drinking i don't drink nearly as much as i did when i was 21 like even this week you know i was when i turned in uh 22 i drank way more last year turning 23 not so much and i can't even drink like tonight or tomorrow because I have this um, antibiotics that I'm taking and I can't even drink, which is a letdown to me because I don't drink a lot. But, you know, um, just to have a little drink on my birthday would be nice, but I'll be able to drink Sunday. So that that'll be um, a good accomplishment. Um, also, um, just being more independent, you know, I definitely want to. Uh, learn how to drive at 23 that will be something that's great um also focusing more on my writing and writing my autobiography that's something I want to do at 23 uh, also want to get a tattoo I have yet to do that you know that's definitely something that I want to do um at the age of 23 but being 22 was a great year for me you know 21 22 23 is like okay not really a milestone per se but still something to celebrate something to look forward to you know you're turning 23 or 24 25 or 26 whatever just celebrate it and celebrate life and the reason why i do these videos is because i want to celebrate my age you know i start started doing it you know two years ago my last day of being 20 my last day of being 21 last year and now today is my last day of being 22 and i just I don't know what to do. I, I don't think I will feel a big difference, but it's still a good age. 23 is still a good age for me. Definitely plan on experiencing new things and branching and, and furthering my um, degree and furthering my career, you know, as a writer. Um, that's definitely my dream job is to write and produce movies, TV shows, novels, all of that. Um, I also want to go see 
Magic Mike, which was like <laughs> a big deal, you know. You know, going to go see that movie completely changed my life. I know a lot of people who have seen it will definitely agree with me. You know, whether you're 22, 42, 52, you will enjoy that movie. You know, it just definitely um, was magic. <laughs> magic Mike was, Magic Mike Double XL was everything. I cannot wait to to um really see that again i can't wait till it comes on dvd or whatever um yeah i'm trying to think of what else at the age of 22 i traveled more you know like i said um definitely uh, experiencing new things at 22 that i didn't experience at 21 you know um you know harsher note i didn't even know that i had um kidney stones like, I know that's a random thing, but I had kidney stones, got diagnosed with that. And last Thursday, I had surgery to get rid of that. And I think, like, the next day, I had pounding, throbbing headaches. I had backaches. I um couldn't keep food down. And I went to the doctor last Saturday, and they told me I had a bad bladder infection. And, you know, I've been taking antibiotics. I've been feeling much, much better. So that was definitely, and I had to have surgery for it. So, you know, that was definitely something that I didn't see coming. You know, me being, having kidney stones, definitely not a good thing, but a life experience for me. And, you know, knowing that it's a calcium buildup and it's, definitely something that I will definitely take into effect when I turn 23 I definitely want to do like more weight loss things I'm slimming down more and then I had to deal with kidney stones so that was great but um definitely at 22 um definitely traveling more traveling to Chicago was a big one like I said before and um you know just having fun with life shopping more um you know, getting out and about more, you know, so being 22 was a great year for me. I definitely will miss it. I would definitely miss being 22. Um, turning 23, I think it's going to be an even greater year. And, you know, I hope you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, if you're 22, 23, whatever, um, just enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy my last day of being 22. I'll be 23 at midnight tonight and I'll be so excited my plans for turning 23 plan on going out to dinner with my family to this all you can eat Chinese restaurant and um definitely uh, plan on having fun there I'll be able to drink a little bit so I'm going shopping tomorrow and um yeah so I'll be I'll be enjoying turning 23 also at the age of 22, you see my makeup, it's called Too Faced. I was first introduced to that um, around Christmas when my aunt bought me some makeup and I just completely changed my whole view on makeup. I wear makeup even more now and I, I only use Too Faced, you know, a lot of my other products I just kind of push to the side. You know, Too Faced is just a great um, makeup cosmetic line you know it's definitely gonna help give your face color it's not gonna help you feel heavy you know it's definitely gonna you know um brighten your skin it's good for your skin doesn't break you out i just really love Too Faced cosmetics so that was something new i tried at 22 and um it definitely was a good look for me oh as far as hairdos i got the box braids you know which i did a couple of videos with those and that was that was another great experience i've always wanted to try braids so that was good and i got a lace front wig i'm going to be trying probably for my birthday or probably next month when it gets colder so that'll be nice um i'm planning on going on a trip next april i'll be done with school by march so i'll be able to go on the trip and go to arizona and you know possibly see what that holds me and my family are thinking about going there um like i said traveling more i traveled you know, um, to Chicago this year to see my aunt's graduation. So that was something that was great. Um, yeah, so being 22 was a good year for me. Definitely got better with my writing and I'm not going to start looking for a job. So that was definitely, um, 
Definitely some good things happened at 22. I definitely miss turning 21. If I could go back, I would. But, you know, you can't go back. Turning 22 was good. I had fun at 20, 21, 22. And I know I'll continue to have fun as I get older. So, 23, here I go. And um, hope you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. I hope to make more videos for you guys and get better at it. You know, and um, stay consistent. You know, because stay tuned because Scandal and Empire will be getting reviewed from me. You know, I'll definitely try to stay on board with that. And um, I'll definitely be trying to do what I can to get my writing and my YouTube show off the ground. With school, I really don't have any time. I go to Full Sail University, which is in Florida. And I do the online pro program for um, creative writing for entertainment for entertainment and just takes a lot out of my time I don't even have time to really record but anyway I just wanted to let everybody know that yes I will be a reviewing Scandal and Empire so stay tuned for that and I'll see you in my next video bye also got the new iPhone you know and it just really changed my life as well um I don't even have to go around my house looking for a signal like I did with my Metro PCS phone the iPhone 6 was just one of the greatest things I ever did um I never would have thought at 22 I would even be like having an iPhone 6 because it was way too expensive but when you save up money and you you get what you want you it's the greatest feeling. So to have an iPhone and I'm recording right now on it, I just love it. I would never go back to any other phone. So um, the iPhone 6 definitely was a life experience and life changing gadget. You know, so that was one of the greatest things I got. Also got to go to the Chris Brown concert. I forgot to mention that. See, this is what happens when you just go off the top of your head and you don't write notes. So going to go see him was an adventure. I've always been a Chris Brown fan, but to see him in person and concert, it was just an amazing, an amazing show. Him and Trey Songs really did it. He's a great dancer. I hope he gets his legal issues together. His daughter is beautiful. And he could just put on a hell of a show. In the future, I hope to go see uh, Beyonce in concert. I want to go see Sierra in concert. You know, I just, I definitely want to um, continue to go to great shows because that was a great experience. I've always wanted to see Chris Brown in concert. So to see that was a great treat.